Hello. Today I will try to explain how this machine works, all the connections that uh, would require to be done before you switch it on. So we've got 20 liters of mesh prepared at approximately 12% of spirits in the mixture. We've got our pump. Uh, it's a simple pump. And this is a kind of pump you can find in uh, any kind of washing machine. It's low pressure pump, so you can use this kind of pump to feed your steel. So the first connection that needs to be done is actually water supply. So we've got here is a simple garden hose and simple water supply. So here you can see the water connection in our garden hose uh, supposed to be connected to this water connection so the water will come into this uh, water distributor system so we'll get some level and then we'll uh, apply our water out connection and waste disposal connection so here's a water supply connection and under the bottom of stripping column there's a waste disposal connection and on the side of uh, heat exchanger is a water release connection so it allows water to circulate through the system and cool it down So our water and waste disposal plastic tubes, they go directly to the drain and I made small stainless steel box where they mix together uh, and reducing steaming. So the next step we have to switch on the water supply. So the actual flow should be no faster than this one this is more than enough now we can see that water coming into the water distributor so as you can see the system getting filled up also here on the steam generator you, you can see the lines so I made a line and I know where the actual level of the uh, heating element and actual level of the water so as you can see You can see it's already filled up and we actually can switch it on so before we switching it on we have to supply the mesh into the system and fill it up so we open up the mesh control valve and we open up the valve on tank so the mesh coming through the plastic hose into the system but it's not enough to fill it up so we have to switch on the pump so the pump is switched on you can see it's working and mesh is just getting fill, fill up the system you see the level rises as soon as you get it filled up up to here just close the tap so tap is closed you can leave your pump working it's not a problem for this kind of pump now next step we have to switch on this boosting generator steam generator and wait till it's become 
quite hot. So our steam generator is quite hot. And now we can switch on the main steam generator, the big one. So both steam generators are switched on. Now we have to wait uh, till the whole system get hot. And actually this top half of the heat exchanger became hot as well. After that we'll open the mesh supply and after a few minutes we're gonna get our first spirit. So our steam generators are working at full speed right now and we, you can see the steam coming to the column. So uh, in a couple of minutes time the steam, steam will preheat this stripping column and the actual mesh will start to boil inside and gonna be separated so then you're gonna get steam coming down this pipe and liquid coming down this pipe and they mix together inside the heat exchanger and actually at the same time they're gonna preheat the incoming mesh so uh, this uh, flow speed should be adjusted so that you actually uh, can still hold held with your uh, hands the lowest part of this top half of the heat exchanger and the top part supposed to be very hot boiling hot so that's mean you you've got the right speed uh, for this case you can actually uh, make some marks further on and you would know how far to open this tap so you see the steam coming in quite intensively and in a couple of minutes time we're gonna expect the mesh to boil inside the system as you can see There's a first bubbles coming in. It indicates that uh, system is uh, getting hot. So it shows that actually mesh has started to boil inside the system. Now you can see very intensive boiling here. Also, you can see the water level in the steam generator are fluctuating. So the water actually that trapped in a water trap coming down. That the level in this pipe in the middle section is actually getting lower. So it's mean the mesh already started to evaporate inside the system plus our heat exchanger is already hot so it's time to open the tap so now we're opening the tap and allow mesh to come into the system 